Hey guys, it's Parse of CMB Operations here today with the John Deere 412R Seam Spray Ultimate Sprayer. We're going to tell you guys all about it. Let's get into it. So for those of you who do not know, Seam Spray Ultimate is a system that allows the sprayer to detect weeds and only spray the weeds, resulting in a lot less chemical usage. Now this is achieved by the 36 cameras on this 120 foot boom. So along with the 36 cameras, there's 11 processors that tell the sprayer when it sees a weed. So at the current moment, this sprayer can detect weeds in soybeans, corn, and cotton in 30 inch row configurations. What's also new with the Scene Spray Ultimate System is the boom. So this is a 120 foot carbon fiber truss style boom. It is a completely redesigned boom, not the same boom that you guys had on the 4000 R series sprayers. And what's also new about this boom is the way that it attaches to the center frame of the sprayer. So the 30 series sprayers had a pivot system. So when one side of the boom went up, the other side went down and wasn't all that stable. The 4R series sprayers, the 400 and 600 R series sprayers have a swing like design, which is kind of a lateral movement. The Scene Spray Ultimate Sprayer has a pendulum design with airbag dampeners to really keep that boom nice and steady. Along with that new design comes Boom Track Pro Ultimate, which has two more sensors in Boom Track Pro 2, which helps keep those cameras nice and level, able to see the weeds. So this a boom system is also plumbed out individually, so we've got two solution lines running out, one to our A port of the Xactify nozzle, one to the B port. This also has double the solution lines as well, so we are running product reclaim and boom recirculation on here, and you would think that that's going to add a lot of weight to the boom and cause issues there with being back heavy on the sprayer, but with this carbon fiber boom, we're actually about the same weight as what a 120 foot steel boom would be with Xactify and product reclaim and boom recirculation. Something different you'll notice about this exact apply nozzle, instead of having one inlet that's split, you now have two separate inlets. So this allows us to keep both products separate for the scene sprayed mode. Our back tube is spraying out our B nozzle, allowing us to select and spray just at weeds. Front nozzle is doing our broadcast and coming out the A port, so it keeps them separate that way. The other thing this allows us to do is still run both systems and spray in a broadcast mode and in a higher rate than a high flow system would be capable of. Other than the fact that the inlet port is different on this nozzle body, it is the exact same nozzle body as an exact apply sprayer. So yeah. that means that when you're broadcasting with the A port, you can use any nozzle that is exact apply compatible. However, the C and spray nozzles need to be an ultra low drift, a low drift max, or a 3D nozzle, and needs to be pointed backwards at 40 degrees so that way it can maintain a good pattern at 12 miles per hour. So the Sea and Spray Ultimate system utilizes a split solution tank. So as you can see here, uh, 1200 gallon tank, we're split 450 gallons in the front tank for the Sea and Spray portion, and then 750 for our broadcast operation. It'd be 350 and 650 on a thousand gallon tank, and basically can run separate, but we can also run them combined too. So if we just want to go do a pre-emerge application with a broadcast application, we can combine tanks and utilize one solution tank essentially to get that product on. The way this system's configured today is we're basically running two standard flow pumps. If we want to, we can run them in conjunction, which would allow us to get up to 220 gallon per minute flow through the system. Otherwise, we'll run them separately, basically running our A nozzle as our broadcast nozzle and our B nozzle as our speed spray nozzle. So as you can see, looking at our solution command display panel setup here, is we've got a similar system to what we would have had on our four series sprayers and our 400, 600 series sprayers, uh, but we've now added a second set of additional buttons. So one for product one, one for product two. So as far as loading this system, we're equipped with two adductors on here to keep our products separate. So if we are running different chemicals, we don't cross contaminate. We've also got a couple options for filling here. So utilizing the side fill option on this, we can push product onto both tanks through this three inch fill line. It uses an electronic valve up top to divert which tank it's putting product to. So we just gotta be mindful when we're filling not to cross contaminate when we're, when we're separating products that way. Something else that's different on this tank is instead of pushing product on through the bottom of the tank and like in previous models, we're pushing it up and over the top and then down a tube that's uh, close to six inches from the bottom of the tank. So we just ran out of real estate for the plumbing side on it. So pushing it to the top and then closer to the bottom of the tank is going to still allow us to fill that tank without foaming or causing issues that way. Another option we have for filling is to utilize the front fill. It's equipped with a three inch line that goes to tank two and then an independent two inch line that goes to tank one. This allows us to fill up without worrying about cross-contamination between products. 
Thanks for taking the time to watch our video about Sea and Spray Ultimate. We look forward to showing you more about what this machine is capable of in the future. This is Justin Myrie with C&B Operations, committed to being your dealer of choice.